live. Hi, friends. Um, I believe we are live. Let me just check here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is Lindsay with So Fonty. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, yes, we are live. All right, so um, I'm back for another tutorial. Um, here we're going to be showing you how you can use the um, we Are Memory Keepers foil quilt with your brother's scan and cut. So we'll show you how to foil and cut a beautiful mandala, uh, foiled mandala design. It is um, just absolutely gorgeous. I've already created a project, so um, I want to just go ahead and show you it. Um, and then we can go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I foiled on to some... Um, permanent adhesive vinyl, and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. So um, if you are live, oh, hi, Sabrina. <laughs> Thank you, wonderful. I'm glad um, you can hear me, wonderful. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and dive in and get started, um, showing you how you can use, um, you can just create a beautiful foiled design, just on the foiled mandala. So um, I'm gonna actually transfer over to um, the screen display. Um, so you can see Canvas Workspace, which is what the design software um, you use with your scan and cut. So let's go ahead and uh, transfer over there. Give me just a second. Here we go. All right, all righty. So um, this is um, Brother Canvas Workspace. And the first thing you need to do is, of course, import your beautiful mandala design. So let's go over to the SVG import from your computer. And this mandala is mandala 13 and watch when it opens for some reason um it's gonna open with all the fill color set to black so if this happens with you in canvas workspace don't worry all you have to do is highlight everything and give it just a second here we got lots of things going on with my computer so it is running a little slow today um but once you do that let's you know what, let's go ahead and group everything together. It's just gonna be easier later on down the road. Um, so all you have to do then is go up here to the top menu, change that fill color. I suggest putting no fill, and then that'll change in just a second. There we go, I told you my computer's running a little slow today. And then we're gonna do a line color of black. And uh, so if this little bug or whatever it is happens to you it's super easy to fix and there it is there's that beautiful mandala I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger um, and this is from the mandala SVG bundle so if you love mandalas you're gonna love this um, so now in still or excuse me um canvas workspace the um, I'm in the properties panel here um, the default line operation for when you bring in a um, design is going to be set to cut. Um, you can see that here, or you can also see that up in the top here. Um, but what you need to do is you need to actually select the design and then change that to draw. Because with the foil quill, that's essentially what you're going to be doing. And so you'll see that um, now it is set to draw. So if you go in the layers panel, you'll also see that there's this little draw pen icon. Um, and since we are also um, wanting to cut out this design, um, we want to draw it and then just cut out um, an outline around it. So what I'm going to do is, um, even though this uh, design is all grouped together, I can still um, select this shape here, which is, um, you can see, I hope you can see that, the, the outside shape. Um, and I can select just that outside line and then go into the edit panel, and you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and click offset. This is a handy dandy tool that will create, um, you know, whatever sized um, offset, either in or out of the, around the design. And you can um, choose to have it go around only the outer edge. Now, for some reason, when you click okay, it's gonna put a line on the inside of this line too. Don't worry, it's okay. Um, you can easily delete that. I like using the layers panel, super easy. So there's that new um, line that was created. Here's that, the, the outside one we wanna keep and the inside one, yeah, let's delete that. 
All right, so now we've created this outside line here. I'll zoom in, um, and I'll actually change that line color to red. So maybe it's just um, a little bit easier to see. And I can, um, but anyway, so what we did is we created that outside line here. Um, and now um, it's because the other lines were set to draw, um, we actually want to change this to cut because um, we want to draw this mandala with our foil quill. And then we want this line here to cut out. So um, that's um, what you can change that line to. So that cut. So you can see everything else is going to be drawn and then that outside line is going to be cut. So let's go ahead and transfer this over to our scan and cut. Um, I'm going to go to file, export. Oh, it's saying that it's outside. So yeah, you got to move everything inside these red lines here. There we go. Now file, export, and I'm going to transfer it via the internet. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so now we can go to um, our, oops, um, my desk here. There we go. All right, so I got lots of cords going, <laughs> going on, so never mind those. Um, but here is the Scan and Cut. Um, this is the SDX85. Um, and I do have all the links um, in the video description to um, the foil quill, the um, scan and cut, and also the design that we're using too, if you want to check that out. Um, so before you start, um, you want that foil quill to be nice and hot. So here it is. And actually, um, the foil quill, uh, this is the fine tip. There's a fine, medium, and I think bold tip. This pink one here is the fine one. Um, and it comes with these dis, um, adapters, um, A, B, C, and D. And so you're gonna use the B adapter for your brother. So just remember B for brother. Um, and you slide that foil quill tip into that adapter and you just kind of screw it on there. And then you need to get it warmed up. So you can plug this into um, you know, an external power source like a battery pack. And then that little light turns on. And so then the, that means that it, this is on and we want this to heat up for about five minutes before we um, uh, get started foiling. So let's just go ahead and, and just put this off to the side for a second. And then um, I actually want to show you the screen here. So <laughs> I do, I think I can I devised a way that I can um, move this um, over here so you can see that. So let's go ahead and <laughs> change this. I'm a one woman operation here. So let's go to webcam. Okay, so let's go ahead. There's the, the finished project. All right, so here is the screen for the scan and cut. Let's focus that a little bit better. Okay, so we've already transferred it over. And so now what we wanna do is, I'm gonna use my finger because I can't find the stylus. Um, but you go to retrieve data and we sent it over the internet. So let's press that button here and it's gonna um, show up on our screen there, there it is. And um, I can actually see it's faint, but there's um, a red line and a um, blue line, and that differentiates the, the cut line and the draw line. So we actually do need to move this. And I had my stylus with me somewhere, but you know what, you can use your finger, so that's okay. I'm gonna click and drag, oops, you wanna um, drag the whole thing. Let's um, let's go back here. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, if you ever mess up, you can just go back and, um, there we go. You can just, uh, stir it over. So back in the edit panel, um, if you want to select multiple, multiple items, you press that. And then this button here is going to select everything. And then now you can move everything and I'm going to move it right into that corner there. So perfect. And it's now exactly where I want it to be. 
I'm gonna click OK. Now here's a little bit um, different from what you may use to if you've only cut before. After um, please select, what you're gonna select is draw. And it's just gonna show um, the draw lines there. So um, not that outer border, because um, we set that to cut. So now what we need to do is set up our cutting mat. So let's go back to here, move all this stuff out of the way, and bring out our cutting mat. And then of course you need something to foil on. So I'm using um, a piece of vinyl. This is permanent adhesive vinyl. And um, since, here's the piece of foil that I cut too. Um, since you want the whole you know, design to be covered with the foil, um, the design that I did um, in Canvas Workspace measured seven inches square. So I made this design nine inches square. So there's an inch um, around all sides. And so I cut the foil and the uh, vinyl to nine inches square. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it on our mat. So remember we arranged that mandala design on the screen in this bottom corner here. So let's put that down and I'm going to use a brayer. This is a nice handy tool when um, you want things to stick, especially to a mat that maybe might not be that sticky anymore. Then um, you've got your piece of foil and one of the keys to successful foiling is adhering this foil down um, as smoothly as possible over the vinyl or you know over what you're foiling on. You can foil on cardstock, um, you can foil on faux leather. So um, arrange that over the vinyl and take out some washi tape and then your brayer to adhere that foil right over your vinyl. So you can find the edge of the, there we go, edge of the washi tape. Peel up a corner and I like to, yeah, start in the corners here and then use my brayer to smooth that down. There we go. And then put another piece of vinyl in the corner, or excuse me, another piece of foil in the corner here. Now another thing you do want to be aware of is that um, you don't want the washi tape to cover any part of the design area. So uh, you want to keep that washi tape right on the very edges of the foil. That's why we left that one inch um, barrier around the edge so that um, we are free and clear of the that washi tape going into the design because what will happen is if any of the washi tape is covering over where that foil quill is going to go on um, that area won't get foiled so you leave a nice border around the edge of that design and then you keep that washi tape at the edge of the foil and then um, it won't interfere with that design and then uh, you want to keep that washi tape nice and smooth all right and so that this brayer this helps so much with getting that um, foil to stay nice and smooth Nice and smooth and nice and taut. So you want it, you know, as, um, as, as little wrinkles as possible. Okay. Okay, so now we need to load this into, my, into the machine. Let's move that washi tape. Put that in there. Oops, and I got a little bit of water. 
washi tape hanging off the edge. So I'm gonna put that over. All right, so we've got that loaded into the machine. And then, so let's just pretend that this has been um, heating up for um, about five minutes. Um, and you're gonna put this um, just in the carriage of the machine and lock it in place just like you would um, the uh, blade. And then you just wanna pay special attention to where this cord is going because you wanna keep it plugged in while it does its foiling. So I just kinda arrange it off to, off to the side here. Um, and then just go ahead and, oh, I forgot to show you, um, I changed the pressure to two and the speed is at a three. Let's go ahead and start that. All right, and so it's gonna do, do its thing. Um, this design says that it's gonna take about 10 minutes. You know, it's a pretty large design. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not one to, to stand and gawk over the machine, but I am kind of aware um, that, you know, I wanna make sure that this cord doesn't get into um, the way of the foiling. So that's just gonna do its thing. I actually um, already had one, you might have seen it, uh, already done. So let's actually go ahead and pause this. It's a pause button um, on here. So then we can move everything. Let's do a little shuffle here. And I can show you what you do. Um, I'm gonna take this out. So it's just a little easier to move. So I can show you what you do after it's completely done foiling. So let's go ahead and push this one out of the way. Ay, ay, ay. I got lots going on here, but don't worry. We can make it work, people. All right, so through the magic of television, the magic of Facebook Live. Um, I have another one already set up. I might just have to turn this off. So yeah, just because it's just going to be easier for me to get this other machine out of the way and sh show you the one that's already completed. It's the same design. I used um, the same type of vinyl. And it is ready and waiting for me. Because remember we set that, here we go. We set that cut line. Now um, after it's done foiling, you would now want to remove the foil. Sorry, I am <laughs> all over the place here with these wires. So I just wanna kind of move them out of the way a little bit so um, I can show you um, that after this is done, let's go ahead and turn the screen back on, perfect, okay. Um, that's, um, we're gonna remove the foil and so that's why I like to keep the designs kind of I don't know, closer down to the edge of the mat because it's just a little bit easier to take off the foil. But I still have the mat loaded into the machine. So you just take off. This is um, one of the most fun parts because you get to reveal that design. So you're just gonna take off that foil Okay, I think we're just about getting that foil off. And then this you're just gonna discard. Okay, are you ready? This is so much fun, I love this part. Then it, you peel it off and you get that beautiful design. Perfect, oh my gosh, I love it. That's a, just. Just a beautiful mandala all by itself, but then with the foil, it just, oh gosh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So 
Now, when you're foiling, um, like if you were foiling on cardstock, you could just take this out of your machine and then, you know, finish your project. When you're foiling on vinyl, you do want to um, cover it up with like either a, there is clear vinyl, clear, um, and there's also, I used a laminating film over this one. Um, and so it just helps to protect the foil. So what I did with this one is I actually cut out um, the outside design and then I just, and in the vinyl, and then I put, I cut out the same design in the laminating film. It's just like a, you know, a clear, clear vinyl essentially. And I put that over the top, but this time I'm gonna try something a little bit different. So bear with me here. So this laminating film, I do have this linked in the description too if you want to check it out, um, is basically just that. It's like the clear um, sticky sheet with a backing to it. And so what I want to try and do is actually cover this first and then cut it out. Um, so I am going to need to, would be nice if I could find something to put under under here so I have something to resist it. Let's see, maybe I'll put my journal under here. Here we go. Then I have a little bit more to like press against. And I'm gonna peel off this backing of the clear film. Um, clear vinyl would work too. And then I am going to just put this right on the edge of the vinyl. And then scrape it across. This uh, clear laminating film is used with um, printable vinyl. Because after you print, you know, with an inkjet printer, you need something over the top to protect it. So I'm using that same principle of that protective film over the top of this uh, foil over the vinyl. Okay, so that went on really, really smooth. I'm really happy with that. Um, but now it's time to cut it out. So. See if I can just move this here. Um, so you're back on that please select screen and then this time you're going to please select cut and then what's going to show up on the screen is just that um, cut outline. Um, you do need a blade though because remember we took out the foil quill. So I've got the um, vinyl auto blade which I, I love for cutting out vinyl but if you have the regular auto blade that works totally fine too. And so now I've got that on or in there and um, I've got half cut on because um, this is vinyl so I don't want to cut all the way through the backing. So let's go ahead and click start. Got that auto blade technology sensing how thick to cut it which is one of the reasons why I love the Scan and Cut so much. And that will be cutting it out. So what I did differently with this one is I cut out the vinyl foil and then I cut out separately that um, clear laminating film and then I just lined up the laminating film over the top of the decal, um, which was a little bit difficult. So that's why I wanted to try it this way by putting that laminating film over the vinyl before we even cut it. So I, I've done that before with the printable vinyl, which is what the, you know, the laminating film is used for. Um, but So I wanted to try it this way with the vinyl as well. All right, so we're almost done here. 
And then I think what I'll do is I'll just put the vine, that vinyl decal I cut off um, on the back. Um, but I absolutely love it. I mean, it just turned out so beautiful. I mean, the foil quill is just a super amazing tool. And then when you pair it with a mandala, um, yeah, you've got something special. All right, so now what I'm going to do is test to see if this cut. And I do that by taking just a straight pin sewing needle and yeah, pulling up that vinyl, that weeding extra vinyl pulled up perfectly. So yes, that is a nice cut. I'm going to go ahead and unload this. Try and get all these cords out of the way. And then weed the rest of the mandala. So now you essentially can treat this like you would any other cut vinyl decal. Um, because of that foil, that's why we needed that um, laminating film over it. But now that that foil is protected, you can weed it and then transfer it to your surface like you would um, any other type of vinyl decal. There we go. Perfect. All right, and I did Use some washi tape to hold down this vinyl piece because this mat wasn't super sticky. Oh, you know what? It did ooh, it did all cut all the way through. Right there. Um, so I'm gonna leave this on the mat. And grab my transfer tape. and just pick that up right from the mat. All right, let's cut this. my scraper here to apply this transfer tape nice and smoothly over the top here. Flip it over and roll that mat. Let's give it a good burnish there. One more time over the top. And then let's peel off the vinyl backing. And I do this so that when I apply the vinyl, I know that the vinyl backing is going to release nicely and I'm not fighting with it while it's on my project. Plus, for this project, I'm going to do something a little bit differently. Normally, I would take the vinyl backing and put it um, back onto the decal. This time, I'm actually going to use a piece of parchment paper, and I'll put that right over the back. This is just regular parchment paper I get at the grocery store. Um, and so now I'm going to use that the hinge method to apply this decal to my art journal. So you start by cutting out the design with it still stuck on 
So either it's vinyl backing or in this case, the parchment paper. And the reason I put it on the parchment paper was to help me with lining up the decal. So now um, the parchment paper is, um, you know, slightly transparent, it's, you know, translucent, so it can help me to better see where I wanted it. And I think centered is probably good. There's, I think the only thing else on here that could get in the way is this strap but I think right there is gonna be fine. So then to, to um, do the hinge method, all you need to do next is to take a piece of like painter's tape and stick this right down the center. And then what you're gonna do is, this is now stuck down here. Um, you're going to peel off one half of that transfer tape with the vinyl decal stuck to it and then you cut off, make sure that stays stuck down. And then you cut or you can, you could rip it too. I like to cut it off this parchment paper or the vinyl backing if you kept it on the vinyl backing. Then you apply that half down. This um, middle piece of tape is acting like a hinge. Oops, sorry about that. The camera's going a little crazy. All right, then um, now with this side stuck down, you can lift up the other side, remove that other piece of either vinyl backing or parchment paper, and then use your scraper, vinyl scraper, to apply the other half. And so it's gonna stay, you know, exactly where you wanted it because you tape put that piece of tape down the center so you can get that vinyl on straight you can get the vinyl on exactly where you want it on the first try okay now let's go ahead and remove the transfer tape I'm kind of like rolling it back instead of lifting it straight up. I found that method to be very helpful. Okay, and then let's go ahead and burnish it again. Now because we put that, that um, laminating film over it, that foil is protected. And there we go. Look at that. I'm sorry about the glare from the lights in here but i can't help it it's just so <laughs> shiny from the foil quill absolutely stunning here's the one that i did um, a couple days ago same thing um, foil over the vinyl and then a piece of clear um, laminating film so <laughs> there we go my friends that is um how to foil and cut with the um, Brother Stand and Cut and the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill. Um, I'll post some pictures in the description um, of this finished project. I already took some of these, so I'll post um, just how beautiful that came out. And then, of course, if you have any questions, um, you know, please leave them in the comments. We're happy to help. And then um, if you're interested in the design, um, the, we've got the link to the um, Mandala SVG design bundle in the uh, description. So um, you can pick up this design plus many more beautiful mandalas. 
um, as well as links in the description to the foil quilt and the um, Scan and Cut if you're interested in those as well. So thank you so much, my friends. I hope you have a great rest of your day and um, we'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.